What's up everybody, Edge TV here. Yo, what is up? Well, we're gonna be doing some magic tricks. Well, maybe magic tricks, I'm not really sure. We do this all the time. And uh, we're two decks. So, let's get started. So, I have already have one open. Let's just open up this one real quick. Okay, now that I've opened it, Deck the deck, you notice how it's in order, so let me just shove that real quick. quick. Uh, I'm gonna take out the jokers, because I'm not playing poker. Shuffle this real quick. Dang it. I forgot, every single deck of cards has these things. Um, yeah, look, you two. And, uh, I think another one. Okay, finally, you two. So let's just do the magician shuffle. I think that was a very good shuffle. But, uh, Okay, now I got them all shuffled up. Now for the next fifty cards that was already opened and was already played with. You can notice I will show you that these are not shuffled either. In the stack of cards. I think the jokers are in it though, but that's okay. Let's forget the joker, I guess. So I'm not gonna show you the trick. But I think they'll understand it pretty easily. Take yourself a shaker or an orange or something. Take the top of this one shaker. Take a. Um, I'm gonna say. Seven of hearts. Hold it. Always make sure that it's on the bottom of the deck. This is called forcing the card. You take the card and you put your hand on top. And make sure it's on the bottom. So you simply tell them when to stop, like that, and they say, oh, yeah, that card right there. So then all you're doing is taking the card off the bottom with your thumb, like, okay? That's your card. Okay, you can go ahead and have that, or you know what? I'm just gonna throw it on the floor. And then, right. So, yeah, there's a salt shaker right over here. And watch them be amazing. Put the cards on the floor. It's the same exact card. Oh, yeah. Now that you know how I did it, let's do it professionally. Hide the other deck of cards. Now, I'll just be... Okay. Tell me when to stop. Okay, right there. That's good. Okay, that's your card. I'll go ahead and just uh, throw this on the floor. And uh, so, I can just set these aside. Um, Oh, she can. That's one. Is that your card? And they'll be amazed and go, what? No. No. And uh, that's how you do the green card trick in a random object. Yes, I have made that card name up. And that's that trick. You can also do it like this. Take a different deck of cards. Take the card name. And stick it in your pocket. And then just do the fortune card thing again. Take it the bottom. And just go real quick and go back to the bottom. Okay. And then uh, Okay, so there's a nasty card. You can see it's in the deck. And uh, something in the pocket. And 
that is that trick, and it's the same exact trick, and I don't think I need to explain it. Next trick. Okay, here's a really simple one for beginners. It's really simple, it's just forcing the card. What you do is you make sure you know the bottom card. And then you'll say, okay, so that's a two of clubs, so you'll say, okay, so in this deck, your card is going to be the two of clubs. Tell me when to stop. Okay, right there. Looks like two of clubs. I was correct. So that's a beginner's. Um, it's pretty easy. You just force the card again. You know what the card is because you flipped it over. Ten of hearts. And then. What? And uh, that's that magic trick. So after you get used to it for quite a while, just keep telling them their card. And yeah. Okay, for this one. Just go, and one stop right there. That's your card. Okay, now, just a uh, place, now I'm just going to uh, tell you to place this card anywhere in the deck. Right there's good, okay. Now, just uh, shuffle it up a little bit. Okay, mm-hmm. Looks like we got it shuffled, and uh, well, let's see here. I think I found your card. And so that is pretty easy as well. Okay, so let's see if I can find the blue card in this deck. Give me a sec. It takes a while. It's called the Eden Fund. Seven and a seven is in there somewhere. So you grab a different card and you have the same card on the bottom. So from different decks. It would be see I have different colors, but um if you had the same colors it would be more like wow. But um all you do is you force the card, grab the card off the bottom, drop a bunch of cards off the table, and then you have the other card on the bottom. So then, all you have to do is, okay, I'll magically find your card, or uh, if you want to do that, you can just like, I'm gonna fake shuffle. You're, you don't say fake shuffle, but I'm gonna shuffle. And you make sure that the bottom card stays the same. So you tip it this way, and then you lift that up. And then you just do it and do it over again until you have that same card, and then you'll be like, magically find your card. Such a card. And they will be amazed. Now, we're doing what I like to call the cut card prank. I mean, magic, <laughs> I don't know, I just named it that. Okay, so what you're gonna do, is you're gonna take the deck, and you're gonna just cut it, which, just slice it in half. And then, what's gonna come out is a card. That was the cut card. Then you look through your stack, and then what I find here, Joker. I'll ask, is uh, that your card? And they'll say, uh, well, let me do this over again. Okay, so, just go, okay, two more stop, right there, okay. So, let's just pick up your card real quick. I did that slow so you guys could see. <laughs> just, I did that slow because it was hard. And then, so that's your card on the bottom. See it? Okay, we're just going to uh, simply place it. That's your card. Right there. Take the card, put it back on. Now, let's go around the back. Back over. And then we'll flip the cards around. Let's see. Is this your card? No? Hmm. Is this your card? No. I have a very, 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 oh, I mean, 
love mental activity in this one. That's your card. And they will be mind blown. And it's very simple. So you set up your cards in a certain way where you have a different set of cards. It's a red card deck. And a blue. With that card. You force the card like I taught you. And then under that card you have two phony cards. What I used. And under that you have the same card. There's a card like this. Go like this. That's where you step. You just force the card like I showed you. So that's your card. Alrighty then. Take that card, okay? If this is your card, then uh, just place that right there. Place the cards back on. You could shuffle it if you'd like. Fake shuffle like I taught you. And then you just have to go. Is that your card? Is that your card? Wait. I have a lot of mental action in this one. Or whatever you'd like to say, or like abracadabra. And then this is your card. It'll be mine done. And um. Well, that will be it today, my friends. Thank you guys for watching, and um, I will see you guys next time. Um, yeah, so remember to subscribe and push the thumbs up. All that stuff that everybody says under the video, and I really would like it if you would subscribe. Because I really, really, really need subscribers right now. It's only one click away. If you can do that, that would be very nice. I got tons of magic tricks, tons of pranks, tons of everything ahead of me. Minecraft, everything. If you could just subscribe, that would be so nice of you. And I'll think of a gift to give away. Um, if you leave a random comment, I will comment back. And uh, it might take a while because I'm not very computeristic, but I do take a lot of videos. And um, it will upload more and more. And if you could subscribe and leave a comment, I would love to answer any questions you have. Uh, personal questions. I might not answer some, some really personal ones, but I will answer normal questions. So it's so nice of you to subscribe and leave a thumbs up for me. So I would really like that. So thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys later, and remember to subscribe. Bye.